Hey guys, welcome to the Fool Show. Of course, I am Fool. Talking about Michigan versus Wisconsin. Big game. Let's start right off the bat. I don't want to take too long. Biggest thing, stop Taylor. Don't lose big chunk yards. It's going to be tough. Michigan's going to be crowding the line. Stop the run first. Make Hornybrook beat you. But if you just get a crease, you can have some big runs against you. you got to have really good safety play. Michigan's going to be playing man coverage like always. So you really got to have safety play very, very strong. Don't forget, you need the D-line, of course, to start. Hopefully Gary's back. Hopefully maybe Solomon will be back. Maybe Dumford will be back. So we really need health on the D-line. Last year, Taylor went for 19 carries, 132 yards in Wisconsin. We got to keep him under 100 yards for a victory. If they do that, keep him 100 yards, I think Michigan wins the game. Stop him. Force Hornybrook to beat you. Hornybrook went 9 for 19 for 143 yards with a touchdown and a pick. I think his one touchdown was like a screen pass too. But that's just my memory. Got to stop them. Now Michigan, offensively, come out, protect Patterson. I really think Michigan can do this. We want to run the ball. Wisconsin knows we want to run the ball. Forget running the ball for the first series. At least for a couple first downs. I say the first two plays, throw play action deep bombs to Collins or Donovan Peoples-Jones. You're going to get big plays because Wisconsin's all going to suck up trying to stop the run. I wouldn't mind seeing another screen play. We did that last week to the tight end. I would love to have seen this big screen why he went to the middle of the field instead of going to the outside where his blockers were. Anyways, it was great to see a screen play. I wouldn't mind seeing another trick play, too, i got to say, with Perry throwing to the tight end. That was great. Keep those trick plays coming. Now, stop the run and make Hornybrook beat you. Those are the two keys of the game defensively. Offensively, play action pass, protect Patterson, hopefully get a run game open. This weekend's huge for a couple reasons. One... Lots of big-time recruits are going to be there. Zach Harrison's going to be there, one of the top five recruits. He's choosing Penn State, Wisconsin, sorry, Penn State, Ohio State, and Michigan, defensive end. It'd be great to get him. He's coming in for his official. You have other recruits that are verbals and maybe teetering, like Gray out of Tennessee. He went to Old Miss. He went to Tennessee official. Now he's to Michigan. Let's secure him. Let's have a good game and hold on to him, I hope. Now, couple other things to look at. They're both really good defensive teams. Michigan averages 15.8 yards against per... Yeah, sorry, points per game against. And Wisconsin averages 16.4. They're both really good scoring defenses. Here's the crux of it. It all comes down to this. Michigan has averaged giving up 97 yards per game against rushing. Wisconsin averages 287 yards rushing per game. If Michigan can keep it at 100 yards rushing, I think they win the game. you got to be careful, though. You all go one-on-one -on -one coverage. You suck up to stop the run. You're going to leave one-on-one -on, -one on the islands, on your corners. They have big play potentials. A.J. Taylor is averaging 20 yards per catch. So you got to be careful about them. They're going to kind of do the same offense Michigan does. Run the ball, play action pass. I think we have the better horses. I think we have the better quarterback. Let's get it done. I'm not sold on Wisconsin. I always think they're a little overrated. They play in the Big Ten West. They don't have any legitimate contenders there every year. You don't have Penn State. You don't have Ohio State. You don't have Michigan State. You don't have a Michigan. Basically, you're just rotating. Who might challenge Wisconsin this year? That's really the question. Is it going to be Iowa? Is it going to be Northwestern? Meh. Northwestern already has two or three losses. Nebraska's down. Iowa, they went into Iowa. Wisconsin did in one. So basically, they got it sealed up already. The Big Ten West. Again, they'll go to Indianapolis again. So, you know, I don't know. They just, basically, Wisconsin gets a free ticket to Indianapolis every year because the Big Ten West is pretty much worthless in football. Michigan has got to stay solid. Run gap. Need really good defense. Look for those linebackers. Bush and um, Hudson to fill the holes. We don't need huge tackles for loss. Just don't let them get those like 10 yard runs. Make them get two, three yards, two, three yards, two, three yards. Okay? 
really try to contain them. Given my foolish pick for the game, if Michigan can stop the run, can limit big plays by Taylor and Taylor, the wide receiver, protect Patterson, and take advantage of play action, I think we win 27-17. to 17. Hopefully we'll hold them down to like 10 points, but I'll go 27-17 Michigan with the win. What do you think? Put in the comments below, what are the keys to victory? What do you think the final score is going to be? All right, thanks for watching. Just a quick little, you know, breakdown of Michigan versus Wisconsin. If you like it, thumbs up. If you kind of like what I'm doing here, subscribe. I appreciate it. And uh, as always, go blue.